That's the versus Man City. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, uh, welcome back uh, to the True City Fan channel on YouTube. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the people who've uh, been watching my videos, uh, all the people who've subscribed so far. We were on 17 days ago, now we're on 25. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get to 30 by the end of the week. Um, okay, so Leicester is uh, playing Man City, and uh, Man City is going to play Leicester away. Uh, the game is going to be at half five. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be shown on TV. Uh, so I just wanted to do a preview of the match, uh, talk about the injuries and talk about how uh, Man City is going to get on in this match. Um, basically, uh, Man City have no injuries at all, while Leicester City have got James Justin, they've got Madison and uh, they've got Harvey Barnes injured. Uh, these are very key and important players, but in their absence, uh, we have seen our, our very own Kavichi Nacho become a star uh he's actually been playing very well he's actually scored in uh, uh in the recent games he's played and he's in good form um jamie vardy has been playing uh, the creative role he hasn't been um, that effective in front of goal uh so he's actually been providing a lot of assists so it'll be a very very tough game as always every time we play leicester city it's either we play a very closed game or it's either they win and majority of the time believe it or not they are recently they've been beating us they beat us 5-2 uh we can all want to forget that uh bad bad and one of the worst performances this season uh at the Etihad, had uh when we gave away three penalties and our defense was shambles. I remember our defense was poor. I think that's one of the games that triggered uh, the Man City board or Pep himself to say, no, 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 no. I think we need to get a defender. And that's when Diaz came in. Um, in this game, I'm pretty sure Diaz is going to be key. And also, John Stones has been in great form. But uh, in this game, what I can say, let me just bring up the lineup for the game for the uh, game versus Leicester, what I think. Uh, I think in goals, we're going to uh, play Edison. Uh, in defense, I think we're going to have Walker. And uh, uh, on the middle, I think we're going to have Diaz. And in this game, I'll put in Laporte because Laporte was never caught to the French team, so he's rested. And you have that energy, obviously, to go against Vardy and his pace. Uh, to the left side, I put Cancelo. The reason why I put Cancelo is uh, in every game that Cancelo's played, he played against um, uh, many other teams that are, have got very tricky wingers. Uh, Cancelo has been very good defensively, and Cancelo, I think, is much better of a natural fallback than Zinchenko. Look, if Zinchenko shows up in this game, I have nothing against that. So, um, basically, in the midfield, I think uh, I would rather also play Fernandinho. Fernandinho did not go into uh, international duty, uh, so he's also well rested because I think you need legs to play against set, uh, Leicester City. Uh, Rodrigo's uh, interna at international duty, so I think he might need rest. But you never know, he might play Rodrigo and I won't complain again. Uh, Gunugan has played uh, international games, but for this game, I'll definitely throw him in there. He's been in very phenomenal phenomenal uh form he scored uh is it two to three goals for germany on international duty very beautiful goals too very very beautiful goals and then next to him i'll put kevin de bruyne of course uh we have to and um if you say at the left wing uh, this is a sort of a difficult one um i don't know if you put ford in or put rahim but i think we're going to go with uh, Raheem. Uh, Raheem to the left. Uh, Raheem, because I was watching the international games, he looks sharp. He looks like he's hungry. He wants to prove something. And uh, down the middle, I will put Sergio Aguero. Um, I know I know Gabriel Jesus has also rested, and Aguero hasn't been in top form, but I think I'll put Aguero because I think he wants to give his all in this last uh, games. You know, as he said, he's leaving. Uh, the club announced that he he's going to leave at the end of, of the season. I think in this game games, the, especially the last games, he is going to give uh, his all because I know Aguero. He always gives one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred ten percent, and he's always reliable. And we need somebody who is clinical in this game against Leicester because you see, Leicester is a team that can actually come back no matter if they're one one nil down, two nil down. 
Okay, so to the right side, to the right hand side, I would uh, put Ryan Myers. He's been phenomenal for Algeria. He's been phenomenal all season. He's been one of our top players this season. And I know a lot of City fans were like, "Oh, we should sell him. We should sell him." No, he's not doing his bits. He's a bit greedy. He doesn't pass the ball. But Ryan Myers has been one of our top players this season and our top creators and also our top wingers. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. And um, my prediction for this game is, um, oh, I hate this game. I hate Leicester City games. I hate them. Um, I, I think we might actually win this one. I believe we might actually win this one 3-1. I say 3-1. Uh, we win this one 3-1. Anyway, guys, that's, that's the preview for the match. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, I'm enjoying the support from all of you, and I will enjoy the feedback. Put put in the comments down below, and uh, please uh, like and share the feed, and uh, subscribe to the channel, and put your notification buttons on so that sometimes when I'm live and sometimes when I drop a feed, you can be able to know that a video is out. Anyway, come on, see.